Hi everybody, it's Patty Rockstar Mom, and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to review two products, and they are two products that I absolutely fell in love with, so stay tuned. Okay, so as I said, I have two products that were sent to me recently, and I've had the opportunity to use both of them, and I'll just tell you right off the bat, I fell in love with both of them. The first product, uh, you probably saw from the title, that uh, I'm going to talk about today is a new nail polish remover. I had no idea whatsoever that there was a nail polish remover out there that was non-toxic. And this nail polish remover is by the company called Pure Body Naturals. It's, this is a 100% natural nail polish remover. It has, um, it's non-flammable. I'm reading off of the bottle. It's non-flammable. It's 100% biodegradable. No acetone, no acetate, and no ethyl lactate. And it's USDA approved. And this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. You know, I think with me, when I've used, and all I've ever used, are the harsh nail polish removers that leave my nails dry, even though they claim to soften your cuticles and soften the nails. That never worked for me. Uh, so, the company says that this is bio-certified, non-toxic, acetone-free. It's effective UV gel polish remover. It won't dry the nails. It moisturizes cuticles and strengthens weak nails. Oh my goodness, this is totally different from any nail polish remover I've ever used. You know, we're used to putting our nail polish remover on a cotton pad or a cotton ball and if we have just regular nail polish we can just rub it and rub it and rub it until we get all of it off and then we're going back and working at it to get every little speck off and then our nails are dry and they get brittle you know if we go have our gel nails removed we have to do the aluminum foil around them and let them sit forever well this is totally different what you do with this and i'm going to show you a little video but what you do with this basically is you use the dropper if you want to. There's a dropper included. It pretty much doesn't have a scent to it. I, I really can't smell anything, but you can put a drop on your nail and it just covers your nail with the dropper, or you can put it on a Q-tip, or you can put it on a cotton round or a cotton pad. Uh, in the video, you'll see that I chose to use a Q-tip. So you can see what's happening with this nail polish remover. I can tell that this is going to last a really long time. I found that what you know when I had it on my nails, I could go about while I waited that two to five minutes, I could go about the rest of my life as long as I didn't put my hands in water you know, I was perfectly okay. I did all kinds of things with my hands and my fingers during that uh, five minutes that I left this on. So, I'll put the link to this down in the description bar. I love it. I get a lot of compliments on my hair. And I, I have never, I'm pretty sure I have never used a flat iron. Never. I, I don't think I've ever owned one. Never worn my hair perfectly straight, so I've always felt like I never really had a need to have one. But about two or three months ago, I guess, I had this idea that maybe I might like to wear my hair straight. And I knew if I was going to do that, I needed a flat iron. So I looked at Sally's and I looked at Walmart and different TJ Maxx and, uh, you know, for a, a good flat iron. And during that time when I was actually looking for one, I was contacted by a company called Vera Professional and they offered to send me a flat iron to try. 
And naturally, I said yes, since I was looking for one anyway. And this is the box that it came in. You can see it's Vera Professional Ultra One Inch Ceramic Hair Flat Iron. And when you open up the box, I'm gonna have to put this down because it's big. <laughs> But you open up the box and you have the flat iron itself. And it's a good size and a good weight. It has the on off switch in the center. It has the temperature uh, dial in the center and it does go up to 400 degrees. And when I read their material, I found out that if you have uh, coarse thick hair, which I do, you can uh, bump it up all the way to the 400 degrees. Otherwise, you want to back off and lower the temperature so that you don't damage your hair. I love this. I, in fact, you're probably already watching the video. I am going to just speed the video up so that you can see me using this for the very first time. Now, I have nothing on my hair but the L'Oreal blow dry quick dry primer spray it says it cuts dry time and it's a heat protector so that's the only thing i have on my hair um i've been using this for a long time i really do like the product however i did not realize when i purchased this and i purchased my backups i did not realize that l'oreal was not I did not realize that L'Oreal was not cruelty-free. Since then, I know that they're not. And I'm going to continue using what I have of this until I'm out. And then I know I will find one that I like just as well that is cruelty-free. At the end, I sprayed my hair with my favorite Tresemme uh, Extra Firm Control Number 4 hairspray. And I have a couple of backups of that because I like it so much. And when that's gone, I'm going to find a cruelty-free brand that I like just as well, too. So I, I'm not going to recommend those products uh, because they're not cruelty-free. But what happened with the blow dry it is I've never had a problem with it before, but I caught myself spraying more into my hair than I normally would. And when I, because I thought I needed it for the heat protection for the flat iron, and, and as you'll see as you watch this video, I did, I, I got it, I managed to do it on my first try and get it into a style that I really did like and I really thought I could live with. But what happened is I went to edit the video and in looking at the video I realized that my hair was already what bend and curl I had put in my hair it was already coming out and it had nothing to do with the curling iron it had everything to do with the heat protection spray I was using I had just used way too much my hair was slick my hair was greasy it was oily and it just didn't work so this video, the introduction part of this video and the end, is a new video because uh, it just didn't, the heat protection spray kept, kept what I was doing to my hair from, from staying in, but it had nothing to do with the flat iron. It had everything to do with the heat protection spray that I used. I want to thank the really nice people at Vera Professional for sending me the flat iron to try and to use. And, and I know that I'm going to have fun working with this and trying new things with it for my hair. This was a first impression right out of the box for me. So if I can do it, 72 years old, you can do it. That I know. And again, the information will be in the description box so that you can check that out. I also want to thank the nice people at Pure Body Naturals for sending me the 100% Natural Nail Polish Remover. This is definitely a product that I will repurchase. Definitely. 
I love it. I love it. And I want to thank you for watching. I want you to go out and be kind today. And I'm going to tell you a story, a true story that happened to me three days ago. I was working on an art project here at home and I, I ran out of something that I needed and I decided I would run to Michael's to get it. My hair looked horrible. I pulled it back in a ponytail. I had no makeup on. I put my big sunglasses on. Have you ever done that? I get to Michael's. I'm, squ I'm squatting down on the floor looking for what I need. And all of a sudden, I, there are these legs right next to me, up close and personal. We were definitely invading each other's space. I looked up, and I, as I looked up and was standing up, there was this young woman. She was heavily tattooed and many body piercings. And her hair was bright, red and orange and yellow and purple. It was pulled back up in a bun. As I said, she had facial piercings. She had a lot of tattoos. And when you're obviously in someone's space and they're in yours, it just beg. You have to acknowledge it. The first thing that came out of my mouth, and I did not even think it, I mean, I didn't plan it. It was, it happened so fast. But I said to her, I love your look. And it took her back. And she looked at me and she, she paused for just a second and she said, thank you, thank you. And I said, you're welcome. And she said, I'm a hairdresser, a hairstylist. She said, may I ask who does the color on your hair? It looks wonderful. And I sort of laughed and I thought, I said, well, thank you. I said, but when I tell you, you're probably gonna just shake your head, I said, I go, I, for as long as I can remember, I go to Walmart or the drugstore, wherever, and I buy the cheapest, whatever the cheapest frosting kit they have when I'm there, I buy it. Sometimes it's $6. And I don't use the cap, I just put it on my hair and wait 45 minutes and shampoo it out and this is what I get. And she said, you do a great job. It looks good. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. It looks great. And I thanked her. And I thought to myself, you know, that's the power of being kind. When you can make, I think I probably made her day because I would imagine that she gets some flack based on her appearance. And for me to say something like, I like your style, or I like your look, is actually what I said, I like your look. I could tell by her body language. Probably not many people tell her that. And when she complimented me on the color of my hair, it was the least thing I was expecting when I left the house to go to Michael's because I looked my worst. I was embarrassed about how I looked. And yet, because I was kind to someone, I got the kindness back. So go out and be kind to someone today.
big smile because you just like it. Love you all. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.